name is Nadia Reda, and I'm doing an experiment about states of matter. My aim is to test what happens to different types of soap when you heat them for two minutes in a microwave. My prediction is that I think the soap will crumble into, in, into solid soap pieces that might look like foam. Kids, remember, don't try this at home without a, a adult supervision. My materials are a soap bar, tissue paper, towel, uh, yeah, tissue paper, a plate, and a microwave. is Kame soap. Uh, my steps are first place a paper towel, towel on the plate. Second, put the soap carefully in the center of the plate. Third, place the soap on the plate into the microwave. and then see what happens. Wow, what happened to our bar of soap? It, it, it's, it's a physical change. All the, there are air bubbles inside that make it expand. This is definitely a permanent change. Our next contester is Panel of natural soap. First, put the pa a paper towel on the plate. Se uh, second, put the soap carefully in the set on the in the center of the plate, the center of the paper towel. Third, place the soap on place the soap on the plate into the microwave. much air bubbles. This is definitely a physical change and still permanent. Our third and final contestant, Johnson's Baby Soap. One, place a paper towel on the plate. Two, put the soap carefully in the center of the plate. Three, Place the soap on the plate into the microwave. Four, set the time to two minutes. And see what happens. My conclusion from this experiment is that all soaps have air bubbles and all soaps have different amounts of air bubbles and when you put a soap in, in the microwave or heat it up, it, the air bubbles make the soap expand into different shapes. went really well. Um, I learned a lot and I learned that 
in the soap there are air bubbles and when you heat it, it causes the air bubbles to expand. And I also learned that this was a temporary change, I mean permanent change, and it was physical. Um, I couldn't have, I could have uh, gone, be done better with uh, telling the steps. Thank you. Remember kids, don't try this at home without a supervision.